If you're thinking about going winter camping and you wanna heat your space with a small portable style wood stove, stick around. Okay, so today's goal is to get this wood stove set up inside of the wilderness for a winter overnighter. Winter camping inside the wilderness is something I have wanted to do ever since I got it. What everybody wants to know, what you're watching this video for, is were we comfortable? Did the stove create a nice, warm, cozy camper for us? The thing that's most surprising to me is how quickly this space heats up with that. Mm. When that gets going, like 10 minutes into a good burn, it's, I mean, this says it's over 60 right now. And it's probably 25 outside. Yeah. I'm gonna give you a few details and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna sum this up for you in four points. So if you want other details, stick around. Point number one is assembling the wood stove and the stove pipe to make it work with the wilderness. This is the 3W Wild Wild West wood stove. Putting this thing together was actually pretty easy. Um, I had bought a bunch of random pieces and parts thinking that I was gonna have to do a lot of configurations to make this thing work, but it actually was pretty simple. Put the clamp here and then we screw this up and then just slide it down and it sits on top. I just had an extra four inch uh, pipe that I put together with one end being a little bit narrower than the other. I slid that over the eight foot stove pipe um, and then I stopped it from sliding all the way down uh, with a three inch pipe clamp. Exterior pipe goes past that, interior pipe probably goes about to the peak. So you have, yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, which is perfect because now we got the length that we need and we have something insulating to reduce the heat on the exterior of the pipe where it goes through to the canvas. Yeah. I wanna start, I wanna start a fire right now. Putting it together, making it work with the wilderness, not difficult at all. Point number two is the most important point. Were we warm? As I already told you, yes, we were warm, we were comfortable. This was the greatest part of the outing. So when you are going out in the winter to do your, your winter sport, you, you know, you're going out to split board or backcountry ski, snowshoe or whatever. You don't really have to worry about staying warm while you're doing your activity. It's when you stop, right? Um, so we went out snowshoeing and, and hiking. And the great thing about having the stove was that entire evening, we were able to sit inside this wilderness and be really comfortable. So we were able to shed our extra layers, take off our hats, take off gloves, take off the extra layer of coat set up camping chairs inside of the back of the truck and just sit there and sip on cold beers. And we warmed up chili on top of the wood stove, warmed up biscuits, warmed up cookies, and sat there until 10 p.m. just talking and having a good time. This brings me to point number three, which is feeding the stove. In order to keep that temperature um, or anything close to being warm, you had to feed the stove every hour and a half to two hours. So when you're awake, this is no problem. Uh, obviously this poses a little bit of a problem when you go to sleep. You were warm all night? I was warm all night. But you were in a zero degree bag. I was. <laughs> <laughs> I was. I was warm too. I was not, I did not get cold when the fire started to, to die down. Yeah. I did in fact actually get up every two hours to feed the stove. I wouldn't say that it actually ruined my night but I wouldn't say that it was a great night's sleep. But I was kind of surprised at how much that you have to just kind of feed that thing. Every hour and a half. Yeah, it's about every hour and a half. And the, I think like the first and second time it had gone down a little bit too much. And so I had to like spend some time down here and like yeah. poke. I was like poking the coals around and trying to move yeah. stuff and I was blowing on it. If I were to do it again, which is point number four, I would use the stove only in the evenings and the mornings. I have a zero degree sleeping bag or whatever those ratings are. They're kind of, you know, somewhat subjective, uh, but I have a bag that's rated for zero degrees and it does a really good job of keeping me warm. And what I would do is I would just sleep in that bag 
I would let every, I would let the wood stove die and I would sleep in the cold environment and I would be completely fine. And then when I woke up at six or 7 a.m., I'd fire the stove up and within 30 minutes, we'd have you know a camper that was about 60 degrees. Um, and I think that that would be an easier and more enjoyable experience for the for the whole time. But getting yeah, getting out of bed every like two hours is 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 tough. Yeah, if this thing was right next to you and you didn't actually have to like get down here, that would have been a different story too. Yeah. Like, I hope this helps. I hope that you can use this information to stay warm, stay comfortable, and get a good night's sleep. Uh, number one, it's not hard to put together. Uh, number two, you definitely can stay warm with a wood stove inside of one of these things. Um, number three, you're going to need to feed it every one to two hours. And I would recommend just sleeping with the wood stove cold, get a, get a warm bag and just use it in the evenings and the mornings. So if you stuck with me this far, you are one of the few. Thank you for watching. If you want more content like this about living an amazing life in the woods, please subscribe. And if you thought the video was interesting, entertaining, or helpful in any way, please hit that like button and I'll see you on the next one. Really well. It's a 3W wood stove, wild, wild west. This is pretty funny. I gotta show you guys what's going on. Yes. No. Oh my gosh, I can't remember. That's my fault because I don't keep the deer feed in a secure container. I just have it in the bag and I have it open. Don't go back in there. Hey, don't do it. Don't do it. I clearly need to make an adjustment. Uh-uh.